All right, guys, today I'm gonna make, uh, well, tonight it's 12.40 a.m. Yeah, 12.40 a.m. And I'm gonna make brisket. Bam. This is 10 pounds. Right there. Cost me about 64 bucks. Kind of expensive. This is U USD Choice. So this is good. I know it's good. It's uncut. So I'm gonna cut, trim everything. So I'm gonna start. All right, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna take this. Go. Uh, cut this up. I'm gonna pat it dry. Next one I do is take off this fat and the silver skinning. That's what I'm gonna be doing right now. The reason why you wanna take this silver skinning off is so the seasoning, they can soak through. Cause if you have this, it won't penetrate it. So you need to take the silver skin off as much as you can. It's your preference. Even the fat too, this fat, you don't need on here. I always take it off. Now I think I'm gonna take trim this off Probably leave a little bit, but not a lot. But look at that. That's a lot of fat cap. So I'm gonna have to take some of that off. So I'm, right now I'm just taking off the silver skinning and cleaning it, guys, because you want the seasoning to penetrate and you want the flavors and the smoke to come in. But with this, it won't. So just take it off, guys. You see, guys, this, this right here is silver skinning. I didn't take a lot of the meat off. It's just a little bit, just on top. So this is what you want to take off. This is what you're looking for. The silver skinning. You want it off because they cannot penetrate the seasoning and it won't taste right. So take it off, guys. As much as you can. Okay, and I'm gonna try to trim this. I want to add an inch. So I'm gonna cut this off. This right here, it doesn't mean your meat's bad. It's just, that's how they come brisket. So it looks brown like that. It can be darker, it can be lighter, but that doesn't mean your meat's bad, but this you can throw away, just fat. You see this guys? You guys can take all this off, this fat. You guys don't need it on there, all this. See right here, this is that brownie I'm talking about. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, it um, brisket, it has that sometimes, so you can take it out. Sometimes it's trimmed off, the butcher would do it, but sometimes you have to do it. So I'm just gonna take this completely off I'm gonna trim this right here. You see this fat right here? Unnecessary, take it off. It's on the back side where your, uh, your silver skinning is. This right here, I'm gonna take this completely off. So right here, that's how, I want, how much fat I wanna leave. You guys could cut it off, the fat cap, but I want probably like, not that much, probably like that much right there, so. Just look around, you can take it off if you want, but I prefer to leave some fat on just to protect it from when it's smoking. So, all right guys, so I'm done trimming. Next, I'm gonna use uh, my seasoning. And sometimes you can use to, uh, to stick to the seasoning. You can use olive oil, you can use um, mustard, but I don't like to use mustard, so I'm gonna use this, uh, Jalapeno infused right here, olive oil. I like this, gives it kind of a kick, but not too bad of a kick. Um, very good. I'm gonna use kosher salt. And uh, Street Rebel Mine, I'm gonna use this too. And pepper. Season to your liking, however you like it. I give a good amount of seasoning of the salt and black pepper, but just a little bit of this because I want to taste the flavor and everything. So I'm just going to give a little bit, but I want to taste the smoke. I want to taste the beef. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this, but salt and pepper, I am going to put a good amount. So just to your guys liking. Be careful right here. You do have a cut from the fat that was here. So what you want to do is smooth it over and go over it. Do not put it in because once it's done, 
you could have a patch of pepper or salt and it won't taste good. So just smooth it out. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for an hour to get to room temperature. Um, and then it's gonna go on the smoker. So we're gonna let it sit, let the juice smoke in, let the spices go in for an hour to uh, room temperature. And then we're gonna start smoking. So see you guys then. All right guys, so the brisk is in, it's right there. I have a water pan so it keeps moisture throughout, so it keeps it moist. So this is gonna be cooking for six hours before I wrap. So in six hours, I'm gonna take it out and wrap it. So you do not want to open it a lot. Um, don't open it a lot, just check it every, I'm gonna say hour and 20 minutes, hour 15, just check. Uh, if it's dry, you guys need to spritz it um, when you see it dry. But if it's not dry, you don't need to spritz it. So the temperature is going to be at 250. So that's when we cook it out for uh, 12 hours. So at six hours, I'm going to wrap it and let it sit for another six hours. So the internal temperature inside the meat is 200 and then it's done. So uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. Oh yeah, and uh, I am using pellets. Uh, it is pit boss, so I, I do like pit boss. Uh, I did one brisket before and it came out really good, so I'm gonna see how this one goes. But Piss Boss is a really good brand, so I do suggest it. So, yep, I'm gonna see you in uh, six hours, guys, when I wrap it. Look how nice that is, guys. This is why I smoke, these long smokes right here. To watch the sunrise so nice beautiful beautiful it's been about 10 hours and the reason why it cooks so quick is because with the grill i have it's uh, short and the fire's right there so i cook faster so i had to regulate a lot look at it every hour and a half so you know, the internal temperature came out to 205 so it came out perfect uh, you just have to keep an eye on it. If you don't keep an eye on it, it'll overcook. So, and I let it rest for about 45 minutes. That's a good time. So now I'm gonna see my results. So if you ever made ribs, uh, it's the same thing as the tug test. So it's good and light, uh, not pulling apart. So that's good. So that doesn't mean that you overcooked it. So I like this right here, good bark. You wanna get to the part that wiggles a lot, so See how it's tough right here? Right here. This is where we're gonna cut it. We're gonna slice it there. I'm using my knife. Ooh, like butter. So we do got smoking right there. The way it holes, so we're gonna do the pull test. Came out good. So the brisket came out good. So now my girl, she wants uh, a brisket sandwich. So we're gonna make a brisket sandwich. <clears throat> so you gotta make some homemade coleslaw. I didn't make it, my girl did. <laughs> I don't know how to do this stuff. The two buns. Get the beautiful pulled pork, or not pulled pork, brisket. You want the salad on it or no? Mm, no. Hmm. See you guys, it has a little smoke ring. Well, that's good because I, I didn't cut enough of the fat. I would have cut more off. It would have came bigger smoke ring, but that's always learning. You always learn, guys. It's not going to be perfect. See that, guys? Pull apart like butter. Very good. This is how you guys want it. some bark on there too. Very good.
more mirrored, yeah. Get some barbecue sauce. Pour some on there. Coleslaw. Like that. There you guys go. Brisket. On the burger, what do you rate it? Mm. Mm. Ten, uh, honest, babe. Hmm. One to ten. Hey, you ate all of it. <laughs> <laughs> ten. It was good. And her mom. I don't know what she rates it, but if mm. she was there, be like, "Te gusta la luce? Que un diez." Hi hi hi. All right, guys. So I'm gonna try it now. See how it tastes? This is mine. That's good. Success. Very delicious. Tender. Very good, guys. Just remember, guys, always check on your brisket. Make sure your brisket internal temper temperature is at 205 has a perfect temperature. So you guys can do this at home, it's good.